Good morning and welcome to Bellow Field on the campus of Tufts University for today's Sweet 16 matchup between the Washington League Generals and the Tufts Jumbos. We are here live on JumboCast. Thank you for sticking with us through those technical difficulties. But we are ready to go here from Bello. I'm Riley Daniel. I hope to have alongside me Matt Antonini and Felix Bacharia once we finish dealing with some technical difficulties. Until then, I will be here to give you a live play-by-play -play and koa here from Bello. Tell you everything that's going on. Make sure you are informed of everything. We hope to have a live scoreboard going momentarily, but until then, I will keep you advised of the score and the time. I mean, these are two very good teams coming in here to Medford. The Generals come in. I mean, they're on a run. Big, big performance against Tuni Anayanta at last weekend um, with just a phenomenal job, getting a big win over a great Tuni Anayanta team, a 2-1 game. Obviously, these two teams have some history. I think 2019 with the Jumbos coming on top 2-1 to one in a Sweet 16 matchup. That one was in Swarthmore. This one here in Medford, a rather wet Medford, Massachusetts, as we are just excited to get going here. I mean, you got to look at these two teams. you got to look at the stars for the Jumbos. Obviously, that has to be the two up top with Sean Trainer, five goals on the season, the most experienced jumbo in this roster. And of course, alongside him, the sophomore Daniel Yanez in the midfield, four goals and just such a threat from set pieces. And on the other side for the generals, I mean, you got to talk about Weime Agbe Agbe, just a phenomenal season so far, 13 goals, six assists. He is fourth all time in points for the Generals in their career standings. He is still only a junior. That is so impressive and he is such a dangerous player to watch out for today. We are about set for kickoff here. The Jumbos will be going from left to right. The Generals from right to left as we are getting set. Couple of changes in the starting lineups for the Jumbos. Alex Wall re-enters the starting lineup for the first time since October in place of the injured Taylor Feinberg. So a little bit of a change. Wall brings a little more physicality, but a little less ball control than Taylor Feinberg might. And on the other side, obviously, the general sticking with their usual starting lineup. Uh, guys to watch out for, I mean, you got to watch out for the all ODAC players. You're thinking Grant McCarty, Willie Hall, and PJ Ryan, among others. As we are set here for kickoff. As a reminder, this is the first of two games here today. Colorado College and Ohio Northern will kick off approximately 45 minutes after the conclusion of this one. And we are set and underway, and the Generals are going to send it long. Liam Gerking going to try and win that 50-50 ball. Kept in play down on the sideline, but it'll go off for a throw. Mateo Adler was on to that one. And the Jumbos will throw it in. That goes through. Touchdown by Mikey Brady. It's going to pop free here on the sidelines. Nice turn made there by Willie Hall. Giving away. Yana is able to get to it. 50-50 ball. And controlled there by Yanez. And that'll be a Jumbo's throw. In the midfield, Yanez controls now. Feigen here on the far side. Daniel Yanez. Barganya cuts inside one. Looks to switch the field. Hit well, looking for Trainer. Trainer touches it down, has it hit just over. And a Jumbo's nearly got one in the first minute. Great ball there from Mateo Barganya. And Sean Trainer with a really nice hit just couldn't quite keep it down. Uh, 
And this goal kick will be taken. Why will Joseph, obviously an all ODAC first team player, had a great season, less than a goal a game given up so far. Brady headed down to Feigen, chested to Yanez, wide here to Barganya. Through the channel to Ethan Feigen. Cuts through two, back to Barganya. Very windy here on Biddle as that one chipped up, headed away. Second ball looked like it hit off the hand of Tahakaba and it did. It'll be a free kick for the Jumbos. Yanez standing over it. Jumbo's gonna send up some of those taller players. Alex Wall does give them a little more height. As Yanez looks like he's gonna send this one towards the back post. Whipped in, headed away nicely by PJ Ryan. Stood back up by Bargania, headed away. And that'll be a throw for the Jumbas. Bargania to take. Gherkin comes short to collect. Here on the near sideline, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's gonna go out for a general's throw. First touch of the day for Abegbe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Abegbe. Nice switch to the field there, finding the feet of PJ Ryan. Giannis went in hard, that's gonna be another throw. This time for the generals. Crowd starting to fill in here at Bello. Nice touch there by Tuka. Controlled here by Penske. Sends it long, looking for Trainer. Takes a weird bounce, headed back. Trainer nearly got to it off his line nicely. Was Will Joseph? And quickly coming the other way are the Generals with Willie Hall. Into the channel. Nice show and go there by Adler. Tries to cut towards the byline on Gherkin, stands it up, into the side netting. And Nick Ontich will take this goal kick. Still 0 0 here. That one under hit and headed away nicely. Campbell send it long. Ryan tried to go up for it. Gherkin gets ahead to it, comes to Yanez. Has Feigen down the channel, gonna try and play him. Little too much juice on that, that's gonna run out of play. And this will be a goal kick to be taken by Joseph. That one hangs in the air, gets caught in the breeze, headed by Brady. Nice step across there by PJ Ryan. Back to take is Spencer Furman. He'll play it back, and that's going to get sent down wide. Gherkin gets ahead to it. Almost flicked by Brady. Penske comes away with it, can't get it cleanly, fighting against Grant McCarty. And now the Jumbos will repossess with Bargania. He'll switch it to Alex Wall, his first touch of the day. Agbe Agbe presses him and he'll drop it off to Clivio. Clivio gonna swing it wide here to Gibson Campbell. Just a little too much on that, that'll be a throw for the Generals. Played back in their own end, and Joseph now being hounded by Brady. Stood up. Bargania goes up for it and comes away with it. And a lot of contact. Nice play there by Toke. And that's going to be a throw for the Jumbos. Good job there by Toke. Not giving up after Bargania won the 50-50, winning it back. 
Stood up nicely by Clivio down the channel. Brady tried to chest it, couldn't, and it'll be booted away there by Will Leuk. Bargania sends it right back. Trainer fighting for it, headed away nicely there by Hall. Adler dumps it off to McCarty. That one stood up in the channel. Bargania's got some work to do. Antich with a little bit of misplay. Agbe fighting against Penske. And Agbe Agbe controls. Swung wide here looking for Adler. He can't keep it in. Chested back by Trainer. Penske. To Max Clivio. Feigen dumps it off to Bargania. Stood up through, looking for the run of Feigen. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Corner kick. Yanez over to take. Yanez has Feigen short if he wants it. Gonna go into the box, towards the back post. Penske got ahead and it'll be chested away and booted out for a throw. Nicely dealt with there by Will Lewick. Looks like Bargani is gonna come over to take. Jumbo's gonna run a set play here off the throw. Headed away, not all the way out. Nice touch there. Flicked on by Penske. Fought for in the corner. Coming away with it now, whipped across. Bouncing around and away by the Generals, and they'll look to counter quickly. Into space here for 2K. He's going to pick his head up, has runners ahead of him, looks to switch it. And hit the elbow of Liam Gherkin, but his arm was down by his side. Agbe Agbe going to press Ontich. Ontich will send that into the bleachers. And now Gherkin's going to get some treatment as that one looked to have stung him a little bit. <laughs> Setting to take the throw here is Sefi. Jumbo's gonna press a little bit. PJ Ryan couldn't control. Hall will come grab it. Sent wide here. Hall now. Jumbo's caught out a little bit. Hall plays it wide here to Adler. Adler tries to go byline. Trainer not going to let him. Whips back across inside. Away by Penske. Going to be kept in by PJ Ryan. Gets around Brady, cannot get around Trainer. That'll be a throw for the Generals. And the Generals will send up some of their taller bodies here to run a set play. Flipped in towards the near post, headed away by Brady. Ryan, a round trainer, whipped across, pops to the top, shot, deflecting, second shot blocked. Looked like Evan DePaula had a hit. Paul going to try and send it long, good ball. Bargunia goes up for it, second ball sent away by Gherkin. Touchdown nicely there by Luke. Around one, looks to switch the field. McCarty, head up. Egbe Egbe whipped across, away by Clivio, second shot is out, and the Jumbos can look to counter. Flipped on to Egbe Egbe. That'll be a throw for the Generals.
McCarty. Still going. Still going. Shot just wide. Good hit there by Grant McCarty. Antich gets set for the goal kick. We apologize here. Looks as if we lost video. It's coming in out. We will hope to get that going momentarily. And we are back live. Not quite sure what's going on right now. It's very windy and wet out here. It's possible we're having some power issues. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Argano wins the 50-50. Touchdown by Giannis. He'll play it back to Ancic. Agbe Agbe going to press him. Sent into the midfield. Good head there by Lewick. Penske got ahead to it. Controlled by Feigen. He'll play Giannis. Giannis picks his head up. Tried to do too much, but it comes to him again. Dumps it off for Bargagna. Sophomore to sophomore. Between the lines nicely. Feigen down the channel. Jumbos can look to go. Ethan Feigen. Cuts onto his right. Has Bargania back and said he'll play Giannis. Now Bargania. Giannis. Gets hounded. Bargania on it now. Little one-two with Feigen. Feigen gets it back. Tries to play it between the lines. Brady controls. Wide here to Sean Trainer. Trainer around one. Into the box. Cuts back to his left shot. Just wide. And Sean Trainer once again comes within a couple inches of making a one nothing. And it will be, excuse me, Will Joseph to take again another goal kick. Apologize for any extra sounds we might be getting. It's very windy out here. Wall with the head. Control there by Adler. Trainer checks back. Egbebe couldn't get it. McCarty couldn't as well. He got Gherkin. That's going to be a foul. Clivio to take this free kick. Stood up. That's going to pop free. Campbell to take. Sent long and cleared away. Penske will try and send it back. McCarty try to play a through ball and no run there. Clivio will control. With his right foot, sent one. Same idea as McCarty, same result, no run. Controlling this one here are the Generals. Give it away, and now Feigen will possess in his own half. Back from Bargonia. Tries to go around Will Lewick. Crowd wanted a foul. Referee rightly rules throw in. Jumbo's putting on a bit of a press here. PJ Ryan going to pick his head up, send it wide. Touchdown by Adler. Between the lines now. Here come the generals. Penske comes across, intercepts. Jumbos can look to counter. Penske with two on him. Pings the ball looking for Feigen. Diving header there by Lewick. Nice touch there by 2K. He puts his head up. Whips the ball across. Bouncing around. Touched wide. Shot. Blocked. Still in the box. Ref says no pin. McCarty has a hit. That one's blocked and then booted away by Gherkin. Still making a run here as Hall tries to get around Trainer. And 
Jumbos will possess with Gibson Campbell. That's going to stay in play and then eventually go out for a Jumbos throw. Probably a poor decision there by P.J. Ryan, as it would have been a general's throw had he not tried to keep it in. Campbell inching up that sideline. Whips the throw in. Adler's pass cut out by Penske. Try to play trainer too much on that one. It'll be a general's throw. 17 minutes into this one. Both teams kind of feeling each other out. Both teams have had a couple good chances, but neither keeper's really been tested. Campbell gets ahead to that. McCarty going to fight Penske for it. Flicked on. And out will come to Daniel Giannis. A nice slide tackle from behind by McCarty, but it'll be a Jumbo's throw. Giannis wanted a foul. McCarty wanted a General's throw. In the end, neither get what they want. Campbell. Nice turn there from McCarty. And that's going to be a general's throw. Much to the jumbo chagrin. Gherkin went down. Brady screaming at the ref. Ref says play on. Here's Adler. Gherkin with a touch. He keeps it in. Ryan steps to it first. Agbe Agbe fighting against Wall. And a offsides on Agbe Agbe. Giannis could look to take it quickly, but they're going to push him back. Clivio stands that one up. Feigen fell, and that is a very good indication of how wet Bello is right now. Ethan Feigen, who's about as sure-footed as they come, just slipped like a mountain goat on a cliff. Yanez and Feigen with the one-two. Out to deal with them is Alec Perez. Over hit towards the back post. Free header back across and nicely dealt with by PJ Ryan. Gherkin's gonna try and keep that in. He can't, but he'll push the throw deep into the general's corner. That throw between the lines. And it'll be taken out of the back by Lewick. Nicely played wide here to 2K. Adler is wide and they pick him out nicely. 1v1 against Campbell. Adler inside to Paris. Thought about the shot. Ref's going to blow a whistle. That's going to be a free kick in a very dangerous spot. About 19 yards. Long discussion here by the Generals. About six standing over the ball. Looks now as if it might be either Wall, Adler, or McCarty. And now coming to join them will be Tahakaba. Or excuse me, that is Paris. This is some sort of weird set play. I kind of like this. They're going to run at the wall here. McCarty going to have a hit into the wall. Second shot sent into the field hockey stadium. Interesting play set there from the Generals. Did not pay off. Short goal kick. 
and then a booming ball there from Clivia. Flicked on nicely by Mikey Brady, but he was not on the same page as Sean Trainer. Quickly taken throw for the Generals. Taken nicely here by Hall. Cut out by Alex Wall, who will let it go all the way back to Antich. Jumbo's definitely started this game on the front foot. Generals have definitely been the better team the last 10 minutes. Egg Bay, Egg Bay gonna press Antich. That's gonna hang in a bellow breeze. Nicely flicked on again by Brady. Trainer try to control, loose touch there. Gherkin once again came in hard. And Hall's gonna send it on the line. Egg Bay, Egg Bay keeps it in, gets around. Wall, Gamble comes to take it off him. And he'll send it long. Trainer flicked it on, lot of contact, lot of people hit the deck. No one gets a foul call. That one sent up there by Joseph. 50-50, one by Varganya. Jumbo's now pressing a little bit. Joseph's gonna look to switch the field, looking for Hall. Over hit, that's gonna be a throw. Campbell quickly taken throw into Brady. Plays it wide, looking for Campbell. Campbell now in the channel. Picks his head up, whips the ball across. Almost came through to Feigen. Last dish defending by PJ Ryan. Bargania sets to take the throw. Whipped in, chested down nicely by Brady. Laid off for Giannis. He's gonna pick his head up, has it hit. Just too much to ask from that distance. You gotta wonder, it is a very cold, windy day here on Bello. And you gotta think with only as clock gonna get stopped here. Unclear why. Something's going on with Mikey Brady, maybe blood. Yeah, I think he's pointing to his nose. As if to say, I got a nosebleed, I gotta come off. Henry Perkins will come in for him immediately. And as we were mentioning the cold, it claims its first victim. But Brady should be good to go momentarily. Joseph to take. It gets caught in the Bella Breeze. Giannis got away with the push, and there they call it. And that one was a no doubter. Quickly taken, free kick. And a push going the other way. Toke tried to do the same thing Giannis did, same result. Ante should take. And that'll be a Jumbo's throw. Argania's throw cut out. Gherkin mistimed it. Looked like it hit his hand. Ref says play on. Egg Egg tried to flick it on. Campbell was first to it. Perkins, his first action, was fighting for a 50-50 that came to Giannis. And Giannis got away with a very, very interesting strategy where he just stuck his foot out and was able to draw the contact. Clivio here to Feigen. Cuts inside of one. Little one-two here with Perkins. Giannis pushes that one wide. Barganya whips the ball in low. Looked like it hit a chest. 
almost hit the hands there of Spencer Furman. It'll be a corner for the Jumbos. Giannis and Feigen again. But you can definitely tell Washington Lee has been watching the film as they are not letting the Jumbos run the short play. They have two out there. Giannis to take. Towards the back post. Flicked on! Penske got ahead to it. Just behind Perkins. And away come the Generals. Into Egbe Egbe between the legs. Loose touch there by Adler. Who's fighting against Perkins. Perkins comes away with it. He tries to make Egg Bay, Egg Bay, and that comes flying into our set. And that'll be a jumbo throw. You okay? We are all good here, but a reminder that soccer is a eyes on a swivel sport, even for spectators. Loose touch there by Clivio. Egg Bay, Egg Bay against Alex Wall. Clivio comes back, wins the ball. That is why he's first team all on SCAC. Headed on by Gherkin. Flicked on. Great touch there by Adler. Gherkin can't control the second touch. It'll be a throw in for the Generals. It'll be Adler coming <laughs> off. As well as 2K coming in for the Generals. We Buster Kuig and on the near side, Dimitri Tula. Referee having a discussion with Liam Gherkin here. Mason Schultz will check in for the Jumbos at the next whistle. Cutting inside is PJ Ryan chipped up. Wall deals with it in the air. McCarty chests it down. Nice touch here by Paris. Penske picks it off him. He's gonna send it long for Perkins to go chase. And he'll go press on Spencer Furman. Back here to Joseph. Perez nicely flicked on, but a loose touch there on the far side by PJ Ryan. Schultz will come in, Feigen coming out. Real good work here from Feigen so far. Bargania's long throw. Perkins went up for it. Lost the 50-50. Paris flicked it on nicely. McCarty. And here is Tula. Going to run against Campbell. Tries to get towards the byline. Campbell nudges him off the ball. Comes away with it. Not going to trickle out for a goal kick. So he'll send it long. McCarty has time and space. Under hit ball. Cut out by the Jumbos. That one spins in the bellow, breezing, give it away. Perkins will control. Giannis can look to send Trainer if Trainer can stay on. But a nice play by Grant McCarty cutting out Giannis' pass. Tula comes away. Stepped and cleared there by Penske. He's going to pick his end up, send it long. But it'll go all the way through and be collected by Will Joseph. Down the line. Hall cuts inside of two. Everyone all over the place. McCarty going to have a hit from distance. Good hit. Just wasn't on target. And Antich will get himself set here for the goal kick. 15 minutes to go in the first half. Scoreless here from Bello. Oscar Tani Das and Wu Vin Shane gonna check in at the next whistle for the Jumbos. And that's gonna be a Jumbos throw. And we're gonna get some substitutions, I believe. Gherkin, or no, not Gherkin, it'll be Yanez and Penske coming out. Oscar Tani Das and Shin gonna replace them. Shin was one of the Jumbos who played in that 2019 matchup against Washington Elite in the Sweet 16. Nice little footwork there by Baragania. Whips that in hard and low towards the back post. Trainer fighting for it. He's going to get to it. 
Keeps it in play. Gherkin gets tripped up. Ref says no foul. Trainer will possess back to Campbell. He'll cut inside of two. Through ball. Left back and a free kick. Oh, no, they're going to call off sides. My mistake. Good job there as the Washington Elite coaching staff rightfully singling out their defense for a good job playing a high line. Campbell to take. Ashkartanidas calls ball. Couldn't get it. And Tula going to try and turn on Gherkin. Gherkin having none of that. Both of them playing on the ground. And eventually... Tula gets taken down, and it looks as if Gherkin's going to get a warning. And so is Egbegbe. Oh, is Gherkin going to actually get a card, or is he going to get away with a final warning? General's bench wants a card, but Gherkin going to get away with the warning. Oh no, the card did come out at the last minute. So Gherkin on a yellow. Willie Hall to take. Left footer, so this is going to be out swinger towards the back post. Generals do have a couple short if they decide to play 2v1. Whipped in towards the back post. Flicked on. Headed away, back towards the edge of the box, shot, caught by Ontich, looked like it was deflected by Henry Perkins who is down and in pain. And from what it looked like here, it was a shot where the follow through collected with Henry Perkins. And on a cold day here in November in Medford, that is not gonna feel good. But Mikey Brady wrapped up, good to go. And he'll come back in for Perkins, who is wincing a little bit. It's going to be a drop ball here, which Ontich will just pick up. And play will resume 13 25 to go. Gherkin fought for the 50 50. Ashkar Tanida send it long. Touchdown by Brady. And that one will be a jumbo's throw. Campbell to take. They're not gonna send Bargania over this time. Brady. Tries to touch around two. A lot of contact. That's gonna be a foul on Mikey Brady. And no card. P.J. Ryan with it. Tries to cut inside. A little bit of a loose touch. Trainer will come away with it. Ryan gives it right back to him. Trainer. Try to play Brady over hit. That one in the midfield. Oscar Tani Dosh flicks it on to Shin. Brady. Back to Shin. Trainer now. He's going to open up. Looks to go to the left. Nicely played between the lines. Bargani around one towards the back post. Headed away. Oscar Tani Das, great job to win that 50 50. Campbell, gonna turn and run, cuts inside. Around one. Into the middle. Cleared away only as far as Oscar Tani Das. Nicely stood up there by Clivio. McCarty gets it out. That'll get sent long. And the Jumbo center backs will go collect. First real sustained pressure for the Jumbos in about 20 minutes. Alex Wall going to have to deal with this. Does so successfully to Campbell. Gets it right back. And he'll send that down the channel for the run of Wu Vin Shin. And a lot of contact there. That's going to be a free kick. Great job there by Wu Vin Shin. Recognizing the trainer had checked back. Making the run in through, drawing the foul. And now the Jumbos will send up some of the taller bodies 
for the in-swinger here from Shin. Or I guess it's going to be an out-swinger, depending on whether this comes to the near or far post. General's back line calling for an out-swinger. Whipped in towards the back post. Dealt with at the near post first, though. To the wide here to Egbe Egbe. He's going to turn and run against Alex Wall. Egbe Egbe around one. Shin takes it off him and then knocks down the referee. And, yep, that is the right call. We did see this a couple of times last weekend. It has to be a drop ball here. And, man, they got to add some hazard pay for the referees here at Bellows. That's the third time in two weekends that one of them's gotten hit in the head with a ball. Drop ball, Antich will control and send it long. Brady tried to control, couldn't. Tola now trying to back down Campbell, send it back. Hall and Trainer fighting on the near side. Trainer comes away with it. Hall fights back. Gherkin now. He's going to try and run down the channel. Still Liam Gherkin. Faces up now. Out for a corner. Under 10 to go, first half. Shin looks like he's going to take it. Flicked in, bounces around, and just booted away there by the Generals. Not want to take any chances, smart defense. All the way over to take the throw will be Mason Schultz. That's something we have not seen so far this year. Generals calling for a long throw. Mason Schultz not really the one known for the long throws, but he does send one here, and it's going to come out towards the corner. General's going to keep it in play. Deflected. Touchdown by Schultz. Flicked on to Brady. He'll pick his head up. Go back. Gherkin. Doubled is Liam Gherkin. Gets through one, but gave it away. Jumbo's repossessed, though. Nice ball there by Ashkartani Das. Bounces around. Swung wide by Schultz and given away. A lot of contact. Clivio going to get a call for the foul. General's crowd wants a card, but I feel like that's the right call. There was contact, but he did make an attempt on the ball, so not really a standard does go yellow. PJ Ryan possesses for the Generals. Furman. Between the lines, Egbe Egbe. Here is Egbe Egbe. Has McCarty. Tries a 1 2 here. Down the line here for the Generals. Egbe Egbe. Ball bouncing around. Gherkin controls. He's going to send it long. Mikey Brady will go chase. 1v1 against Furman. Brady first to it. Has outside runners. Picks his head up. Swings it wide to Sean Trainer. Has Campbell on the overlap. He'll play him. Campbell whipped hard and low. A lot of contact. And that'll go all the way through for a general's throw. Six and a half to go here, first half. Uh, 
That one bouncing around here in the general's end. Almost came through to Ben Verner. A lot of contact. Ref says play on. Jumbo's bench incredulous. Tala. Laid off. Coming back is Verner. And that was a frustration foul if I've ever seen one. Quickly taken by Hall. Bruner. Sitting wide here by Tula. That'll be a Jumbo's throw. Jumbo's crowd still upset. They wanted a penalty there. Sent long down the channel. We're all going to go deal with it. Cut out by Hall. Tula now. Megs a couple of Jumbos. Hall fighting against Werner. Werner with a nice slide tackle comes away with the ball. Scooped up by Campbell, headed back the other way. Wall being crushed by Tula. Nicely sent up to Werner. Looks like he made his own teammate. Hall gonna have a hit. Well wide. Antich will take this here. Four minutes to go, first half. That one hangs. Flicked on nicely. Little one two there from Schultz and Brady. Brady down the channel. Still going, Mikey Brady. Lazy back off for Schultz. Fake like he was going to cross it, got to the byline, couldn't keep it in. Goal kick. Ben Brown going to come in for Mikey Brady, as that seems like a substitution design to see the Jumbos out to the half. Furman. Stands that one up down the side. Nice touch there by Kuig. Give it away though. Bargonia gets his pocket picked. Through ball looking for the run of Apostolou. And a foul behind the ball on Wu Vin Shin. Will give a free kick to the Generals in a dangerous spot with about three minutes to go in the first half. That's going to go all the way down and force Campbell all the way off his line to try and deal with it. Blocked by Van Brown. Werner going to press now. Schultz will get ahead to that. It'll get sent long into the Jumbo's end. And Oscar Tony Das will possess it back to Alex Wall. He'll send it long for Ben Brown to go chase. Headed back in the midfield here by the Generals. Nice touch there and a beautiful ball by PJ Ryan. Sent wide looking for a Congolou. Whips back across. General still with it. And a nice idea was cut out by Liam Gherkin. Campbell not taking any chances. Hits it long and true. Blocked by Van Brown. Schultz almost came up with a 50 50. Instead, it'll go to the Generals, but they can't keep it in play. And that'll be a Jumbo's throw with a minute and a half to go. Quickly taken. Schultz with a nice turn. Fighting there on the far side against Lewick. Hall cuts inside. A lot of contact. Ref says play on. Switch wide here to Tola. He just stayed on. 1v1 against Campbell. Cuts towards the byline. Campbell will, ooh, looked like it popped off him. Ref says corner, Nick Ontis screaming in disbelief. 
General's gonna send up the big bodies. This will probably be the final chance of the first half. And it looks as if Dimitri Tola in a little bit of pain here. Whipped in towards the back post. Headed down. Touchdown. Shot. Ontich could have picked it up, didn't. Werner will concede a throw. 25 to go in the half. Drandall screaming at their teammates to get the ball in play. Whipped across. Headed out. 15 to go in the half. Hall, low and hard. Oscar Tony Lons gets it away. Shot from distance. Ref says it did not hit a hand. Still bouncing around. Another shot, that one goes wide. And at the end of a chaotic first half, we go to the break, honors even scoreless. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, we will have our three commentators and the second half. Stay tuned.
Welcome back here to Bello. We apologize for the technical difficulties. It is one nothing Washington and Lee. 20 minutes to go here in what promises to be a chaotic and entertaining final 20 minutes. Corner kick for the Jumbos. Shin towards the back post. Bargonia gets ahead on frame. Caught there by Will Joseph. Counter now for the Generals. Schultz able to cut it out. He'll send it back. Touchdown here by Lewick. He'll try and send that long. Egg bay, egg bay, gonna turn and run. And looks like it's out of play. I was gonna say he kept it in play. Now it'll go out for a Jumbo's throw. Or it looks like it might be a free kick. No, it's gonna be a throw. 18 and a half to go here on Bello. One nothing Generals. Jumbos go back to Ontich. Campbell now for it. He's gonna turn and run. Got a head of steam, does Gibson Campbell. He'll play it wide to Sean Trainer. Trainer picks his head up to the edge of the box. A lot of contact. That looked like it hit a hand. Ref says no. Jumbo's crowd screaming. Clivio controls. Has his head up. Schultz now. Triple teams. Gets it taken off him here by Park Bruner. He's just going to send that out play. That'll be a throw. Quickly taken throw, Penske with it. Stands that one up, down into the channel. Brady flicks it on, and then gets taken down. Oscar Tony Doss got ahead. Brady with another one. Comes here to Schultz. Bargonia pings it wide to the far side. It's gonna come out. Oscar Tony Doss seems content to let it roll out of play for a throw. 17 minutes to go here on Bello. Max Clivio with it at midfield, and he's got about 30 yards. Wants someone to show for the ball. Brady does, flicked on. Clivio kept the run. It's booted out as far as Campbell. Between the lines to Clivio, cut out. And now a counter opportunity here for the Generals. A lot of contact, that's a foul. And once again, Sean Trainer escapes without a card. General's in no hurry whatsoever to take. Uh -oh. I'm not hearing myself. Welcome back here. Sent wide. Bargun is going to go up for it. And that's going to go out of play. It'll be a Jumbo's throw. It is do or die time here for Kyle Desitel's team. They have got to find a way to get themselves a goal in the next 15 minutes. Nearly given away. In the midfield, Penske comes away with it. Send it hard. Chested down there by Ryan. Bruner now has runners ahead of him. And that's going to go out for a generous throw, allowing them to milk more time off the clock. Going to send up a lot of their taller players looking for the goal that would all but end this thing. Thrown in towards the near post, bouncing around in the box. Pops up and away. Cleared away by Varganya. Trainer flicks it on. Yanez did not make the run that Trainer wanted him to make. 
Sent back to put Joseph under pressure. He's gonna send that long. Agbe Agbe, nicely flicked on. Tries to get it back. Controlled in the midfield by Ashkar Tony Dawson. Comes through to Brady. He can pick his head up. Between the lines to move his shin. He'll lay it off for Yanez. Yanez gonna get doubled. Around one. Still double, Danny Yanez. Alongside me for the first time today. Hello. As that ball is whipped in here. It's been a crazy day here on Bella, but we got a crazy grandstand finale coming up. Penske on it. Trainer. Around one. Still with the ball, Sean Trainer. Here's Max Clivio with it. Between the lines to Schultz. Wide now. A lot of contact, ball whipped across. That's a penalty, I believe. Oh, that's a free kick. Oh, wow. On the edge of the box, very close Wow. There. I thought that was in the box. Free kick in a dangerous spot. All right, Max, what do you think? You hit this directly on or did you whip it across? I think you want to get shots on target. You want to test the keeper. I mean, this is desperation time for the Jumbos. Definitely been a frustrating one all match, but this could be their one chance to make a difference. I mean, this is certainly a grand opportunity here. You want to get those star players out there, which is what the Jumbos are doing right now. It's their best shot they have to tie up the game. Desitel asking for them to stop the clock, which they are not going to do. It's not under 10 yet, so they don't have to. Yanez on target, hits the wall. Schultz controls, comes back to him, he'll stand it up towards the far post. Flicked on, into the box, a lot of contact! Trainer went down, that's gonna be a corner. Great defensive effort by the Generals there. Jumbo's gonna make a substitution, Mason Schultz off, Ethan Feigen in. Jumbo's gonna send everything they got. Yeah, they're sprinting for this one. They they need to get get going quickly because otherwise they're gonna be chasing for the rest of this match. Well, Feigen's that dynamic player that they need right now. They need someone that can really get into the box, fight their way through, and that's what they're trying to set up here with this play. Towards the near post, headed away there. Just Fulston who got the head to it, and then the general's content just to boot it up. Antic will control, Agbe Agbe gonna press him. And a crucial intervention there by Ben Penske who gets shoved off. Shoulder to Ref shoulder says there. play on. Bruner comes away with it for the Generals. Well, what a gap that the Generals can take advantage of here. Mateo Adler, the goal scorer, gave it away. Campbell, Generals caught out a little bit here. Clivia, who's practically playing as a midfielder now. He's gonna turn and go. Turn and burn. And I don't know why Sean Trainer stopped that run. Might have thought he was offside, but it didn't look like it from here. And that's gonna be a throw in for the Jumbos as Daniel Yanez went in hard and as you like to say, Max, shoulder to shoulder means play on. Well, that's those critical moments where players can really get into their head considering are they offside, are they not offside because every small decision can make such a big impact in these last few moments. Bargani gonna take it, Jumbos gonna run a set play here off the throw. They need some lucky bounce here. Bounces around, flicked on. McCarty got a foot to it. Stood up, Agbe Agbe will try and flick it on. Nicely touched wide by Adler. He's gonna send Agbe Agbe off his line. His Antich with a header to keep the Jumbo season alive. What and a dangerous situation for the Jumbos there. Neuer esque there, coming way off his line to make an intervention. That was very crucial. Otherwise, Agbe Agbe, he's got the pace. He could have been through. I mean, once he made that commitment, if he doesn't get that exactly right like he did, it's game over. It's all or nothing for the Jumbos now. 10 minutes to go. Brady able to take it down nicely. Brady still bandaged up there from the first half. Swung wide to Bargania. I mean, what's most- Cuts onto his right. Has a hit, way too much on it. 
What's most important for the Jumbos now is just to stay calm, stay relaxed, not get into their head too much. Every small decision, every small moment can make a huge impact here. I mean, we've seen from the Jumbos in the past that they've been able to take advantage of smaller situations. They simply got to find that gap. If Trainer can get in the middle and shoot a goal, that's all they need right now to tie it up. And you have to be smart with your decisions as well, because every every shot you take, every time the ball's out of play, that means more of the clock ticking down. Still at 9.30, so clock has been stopped, but you need to be smart about the decisions you're taking. And you have to wonder, especially because I could see our commentators couldn't, or viewers couldn't hear you guys, but I could see you guys and the reactions to some of those chances in the first half if those shots from Sean Trainer, the ones that went just over the bar, might be coming back to haunt the Jumbos now. Just want to take this moment to, to introduce myself and Max Riley. Glad we could finally join you. A bit of a traffic delay here in Medford today on this cold day, but glad we could make it here in time for the final minutes of this Sweet 16 matchup. It certainly has been exciting so far. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a one heck of a game. I mean, but you wouldn't expect anything less from these two teams. Yeah, these two teams very storied in the NCAA tournament. Adler. Try to play Bruner flicked on. Can that be kept in? No, it cannot. Goal kick. Yeah, Jumbo's defense was trying to rush back to the back there to hold off of that attacking effort by WNL. Looks like Ben Brown gonna come in for Wuven Shin. Felix, your thoughts on that move? I mean, Shin's one of those experienced players. You know, they've had him on the squad since that 2019 team that won the national championship. I, it's an interesting choice. I, I think they just want to bring in dynamic players now. Brown can add a little bit of taste. And a bit of height, of course. Absolutely. Yes. Tallest guy on the pitch. Trainer gets a step towards the byline. Keeps it in. Sean Trainer. And no! No! No, that ball was in! Offside called there. No, they called it out of play. Wow. Oh my word, that might be the call that ends the Jumbo season. The Jumbos, That's a crucial call. The I did Jumbos see that. fan section is shocked in that moment. I mean, it did seem to roll slightly out of bounds, but I mean, it, uh, these are the moments where, you know, you don't have VAR. No, yeah, yeah, though I will say, in the referee's defense, I think they made the right call, considering if it was the wrong call, Sean Trainer would still be barking right now. And he has seemingly accepted the call, but inches from tying the game there. Feigen trying everything he can now. It'll pop to Yanez. Eight minutes to go here. Jumbo's playing it safe, making sure they don't. Whipped in by Campbell, flicked on! On target from Ben Brown, but nothing on it. I mean, they're trying to got, not get any man offside in that situation, trying to just push up into a clump into the front, maybe get Trainer out in there, try and get a header in. I mean, is that all they have? They have seven minutes. They got plenty of time. It only takes one. The wind continues to blow here. It's getting even more chilly, but the player is definitely feeling the heat now. Yeah, I don't think they're feeling any cold. <laughs> nice touch there by Barganian, but it pops free. A lot of contact. Barganian comes away with it. And then a tactical foul and a half that is not called. I'll tell you one thing the Jumbos need now is this home field advantage. Those fans got to get loud and proud for this Jumbo team. They need that effort to push it up front. Fighting cuts inside, stands up the ball looking for Brown. Flicked on. It's going to come down to Brady. Why does Sean Trainer has the overlap for Campbell. Campbell hard and low. Two straight right at Joseph. He'll collect. Yeah, yeah great effort there by Campbell. Yeah, good hustle there on the far side with the overlap. We know that works so well, but that final ball just wasn't there. Too easy for the Washington League keeper. It only takes one boot in these moments. Yeah. And there's the boot. That one. Going to come comfortably to Oshkar Tanidas. He will send it straight in the air. Mikey Brady flicks it on. Trainer controls. Livio making a run. He's playing Livio as a nine. Livio is basically playing as a nine. Feigen. Drops the shoulder, wanted the foul. Jumbo's bench wanted the foul, good no call, and then a very cynical foul from Marteo Bargagna, who is rightfully gonna get carded. I mean, it's all or nothing in these moments. You just gotta stop that play. You wanna keep it one nothing, just tie it up in these last few moments and hope for an overtime now. Yeah, I'm surprised he's... Oh, he won't get a card. And you know what, if you're Marteo Bargagna, it's honestly a good thing to get the card there, because you know what the card does? Stops the clock. It stops the clock. As we found out in that Rochester game last weekend, 
when the clock, when the car comes out, the clock stops and it will not resume until this ball is kicked. Another chance here for Washington to, leave, to really set up a play, but I mean, this Tufts defense has stood strong throughout the year and I think they'll continue to stand strong here. Hit straight. Yeah, and Washington Lee only with one real person up. They're content with sitting back. Yana's gonna hit that straight. Clivio did not see it. Campbell with a lot of contact. Ref says shoulder to shoulder. Yana's will go back to get it. Tough ball to Ontich. He'll play Oscar Tani Das and the Jumbo's a little bit careless from the back. I mean, you just wanna punt it up, try and find that height there. You don't have those tall players. Great switch, Bargagna. But you also want to find your man, so you have to be smart with the pass you take. Inside to Feigen. Ben Brown being hounded, it comes through to Yanez. Stood up, looking for Brady, cut out. It's a bit careless there, because now Agbe Agbe has so much time. I mean, taking Trainer out in these last few moments was an interesting choice by the Jumbos. Oh, he's right there, my bad. And another just poor decision there by Mateo Bargagne to commit the foul. Gherkin looking to come back in as well. Maybe he can be the difference maker. We know he scored last time out against Rochester, but can he do it in the clutch? No hurry whatsoever from the Generals to take this. 4.58 now. That one whipped in. Shot is deflected. Ontich does a good job preventing the corner. And now everyone's gonna go the other way. He'll dump it off to Oscar Tanidas. He'll hit it long, looking for Brady. He got ahead to it, Ben Brown will get the next head. Flicked on, Clivio controlled it. Like four men guarding Clivio right there. Yeah, surprise Clivio, <laughs> he normally a center back, the captain, I think he just wants to try something. Use his size to his advantage. Here is Clivio, but a loose touch. Egbe Ebe could be through here. He is, flag stayed, oh, flag comes up. Now this will give the Jumbos a free kick. Ontich quickly up to the line. He's gonna take it. Down to four minutes now. General's starting to get gassed here as they're now really struggling to get all 10 behind the ball. I mean, these are the moments where the Jumbos could shine. That one into the box, flicked on, no one made a back post run. You have no man standing there. Trainer off over to the right. No Up. one's ready to receive. Someone's got to take the risk, say, screw it. Maybe I'll be off size, but maybe I can get on the end of a ball. Yeah, these are the moments where you, you can't play safe anymore. You got four minutes left. You got to try everything you got. Yanez comes across, picks the pocket of McCarty. In between the lines to Feigen. Here's Clivio. Wide to Sean Trainer. Sean Trainer cuts onto his left. Taken down, ref says no call. And the Jumbo's crowd in shock. I mean, that looked pretty clear to me. I, I mean, I, we don't have a great view from over all here. All I can say is we're not gonna make a comment on it. You all can go back, watch the video and make a decision for yourselves. Three minutes now, this is it. Trainer, through, Sean Trainer Gets pulled down, lot of contact again. And again, no call! What a save there. Washington and Lee keeping it strong, holding down the fort here. The crowd making their opinions no trainer making sure the ref knows his opinions. I mean, the generals have come here to take over Bello. They have, and I can just hope that Jumbo's fans able to keep their composure here. Feigen, won it, got a, that looked like it could have been a card, as that's a very high boot. General's not gonna let the Jumbos take it quickly. I don't know why the clock is still running I'm, here. You can't waste any time. Clock in these should moments. not still be running here. Two minutes now. Fanny has to take this quickly. Honestly, I think you gotta send Antich now. I mean, Giannis. He looks ready. Towards the back post. That's sailing out. Ben Brown kept it in. Now it goes out, a minute 45 to go. And the ref's gonna stop the clock. A interesting decision by Washington and Lee will prevent them from wasting any time on this goal kick. 
final moments here for the Jumbos. Campbell off, Gherkin on. Jumbo is playing with effectively one at the back right now. I mean, you gotta put anything, any any power, any strength that you can into this game right now. Anyone can, that can take a shot has to be on the field now. Barconi gonna go get it. And that's gonna be a throw for the Generals who will take their time. Quickly taken. Not quite sure why. Feigen fell down. Give it away. Sean Trainer tracks back to take it. Oscar Tunida sends it up. Nobody there for the Jumbos to take, though. Second ball controlled to Giannis. He'll turn and go. Jumbos will possess around. with Oscar Tunida. One minute on the clock. Wide to Liam Gherkin. Whipped in hard and low. Nearly came through. McCarty going to send it out. Ontich gonna try and keep it in. He can't. He'll take the throw quickly. All the way across to Ben Pensky. I mean, I don't even know if Ontich is gonna run up to the front right now. Right now you want all 11 men in that section. Might as well. Bargania. Slide tackle made. Egbe Egbe can turn and run for the corner. Cuts inside. Switches the field. 30 seconds to go. Adder with it. Jumbos have to send everything. Adder gets around Yanez. Cuts inside, not quite sure why. A shot, what are you doing? Why are you shooting that ball? I think they're comfortable. Can they get it up in 15 seconds? I don't know. Well, Antich does half the work. Jumbos need a miracle here. It comes through to Bargania. Flicked on, he gets taken down. And a phenomenal game here at Bello will end in a cloud of controversy over some late calls. Max and Felix, your final thoughts? I mean, a huge win here for the Generals. They've been playing strong all day. It looked like a 50-50 effort from both sides, but the Generals, they really got that final punch. You know, in, in these last few games, you, you will need to take advantage of momentum. You need to take advantage of big moments. And that's what the Generals, the generals capitalized on, and they're ready to go, to go into tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. They're headed to Elite Eight for the second time in their history. The Generals avenging the Demons of 2021. And avenging their NESCAC Demons. Yeah, it's a big, it's First a big First ever win against the NESCAC program for the Generals. And for Tufts, it's a sour way to go out, especially given the home field advantage, and they just couldn't find an answer. Yeah, and we're not gonna show it, but I imagine Kyle Desitel's interaction with the referees will be interesting post game. We are gonna take a short break. We'll be back in about 45 minutes with a second game. Ohio Northern and Colorado College should be a phenomenal one to find out who gets to play the Generals in tomorrow's Elite Eight matchup. Me, Max, and Felix will be back for that one. At this time, I'd like to thank the other members of our crew, Jason Strait and Marco Salabeni on the camera. Justin Loker directing alongside me has been Max Antini and Felix Bhattacharya. I've been Riley Daniel. As always, stay home safely. Thank you.